Hello folks, for millennia now, humans and cats have been asking the difficult questions. Why are we here? When is my next meal? How much power does the GS450H gearbox make? Today, we're going to attempt to, uh, to answer at least one of those questions. Okay, two. Why I'm here is simple, to build EVs. The cats, well, they'll have to figure out that next one for themselves. But we are up and about early. We are plugged into Chidemo fast charging here and the land yacht is gassing up. And we're heading for a dyno where we are going to attempt to find out just how much power that the GS450H gearbox makes in our E39. So it's freezing below zero at the minute, so ideal um, <laughs> uh, temperatures for this kind of thing. Uh, about another half an hour's driving to go to get to the dyno shop. And we, we are going to be able to film there so that'll be cool uh, so you can expect some dodgy camera work as always be some more fast charging too uh, because nothing like a good fast charge to get the, ba the batteries warmed up and we definitely want our batteries warm and the oil in the gearbox warm uh, for this adventure so i'll check back we're at our next charging stop and uh, then we should be seeing you all at the dyno. What will happen? I do not know. You know, that's the beauty of this stuff. Stick with us.
that's the peak actually. Okay. And after she just released yeah. the power after she uh, cut the fish. Like, you know. Yep. Yeah. So we run out of voltage. Yeah, you run out of voltage. Yeah. She's she's going very well up to the peak. Right. And after a release. Okay. Uh, so you're going to apply a constant power. Yeah. Yeah. Area here, yeah. 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 That makes perfect sense, yeah. And uh, the first one, it was without the neutral, right. and it just released the yeah. accelerator. Yeah. The second blue is uh, with the neutral. So, if you want to cast uh, yeah. that's the difference. Oh, wow. Of the resistance. Wow. What are most of the sun resistance? Might be no difference. Okay. Because the first one, well, first round actually, you have to check, um, you know, two times or three times to make sure it's the right training. Okay. So it depends on the best style. That's 225 horsepower. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah. That is amazing. Yeah. At about 120, 110, 120 kph. Mm -hmm. That's in high gear. Okay. That actually makes perfect sense. Because I can kind of feel yeah, I kind of feel that up to about hundred kph in most of the roads that I drive. And it really push you in the yeah. back up to that speed. That speed there, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly, because the measurement is a little bit different than uh, um, diesel or petrol cars. Right. Uh, because we've got the, <coughs> at the bottom uh, speed. Right. Usually it's the. Uh, uh, oh, RPM. RPM, yeah. yeah. RPM, and. But it looks good, like, you know, I mean, That's even the diagram. Yeah, it looks good. It does. Doesn't, doesn't, doesn't spin the wheels. No. That mean, yeah, no, it won't. Yeah. If the wheel is spinning, you can see uh, some kind of uh, sharp. Oh, or, it'll open that. Or, yeah. or, or, or waves, like, you know, uh, on the, the tires. Very good. Like, you know. So that's the low gear. So that's low gear. I've also increased the speed of the. And you hear that running a bit louder there. So that puts a very low ratio on there. Um, and I think we've hit the limit or probably at about 70, 80 kph or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I have to imagine. So folks, after that uh, little scream fest, let's go have a look at the dyno plot and uh, put it up here for you now. And uh, I guess the big number is that in high gear, uh, we get 225 brake horsepower coming out the back end. Now, a few things to keep in mind uh, for this that are worth uh, remembering. The first is that we are running nominally 360 volts. Uh, the battery is kind of an amalgam of two batteries. 
there is a nine kilowatt hour uh, first generation BMW hi hybrid plug-in hybrid pack and that's in parallel with a, ra a rather tired um, first generation Nissan Leaf pack uh, from my wife's 2011 uh, Leaf so those two make a reasonably good um, power source and I was extremely pleased uh, with the results today um, we get peak power coming in at around about 120 kph or about 70 miles per hour and then we go into a constant power uh, range then after that and that seems to settle in once you get over that peak you're kind of settled in it looks like about a 190 horsepower so um other things here this is running the zombie verter vcu at version 1.11 uh, software we had traveled a uh, distance of around 40 miles i had done two chademo fast charges um to try to warm up the battery a little bit because it was a freezing cold morning we got up to uh we were fast charged the second fast charge i did in less than a mile from the dyno so we were pretty much full up easily over 90 percent full when we did the run now unfortunately as you'll probably have see, have seen uh we weren't able to do a successful test today of the low gear just because the torque was so high that it just kept spinning up the, with the back wheels so i would like to um I'd like to very much thank uh, Lucas and the guys at For My Garage. They really looked looked after me. And uh, it was a really, um, really nice time doing the power run. Watson, the cat, agree, agrees. And uh, we'll certainly be going back there uh, with some of our project cars. So, Watson uh until then um i will put a jpeg of the um plot up on patreon and it'll probably be on the open inverter forum then uh once this video goes public so hope that kind of helps to answer as i said one of those big questions what son So as I say, folks, <clears throat> Watson also hopes um, that this video will help to answer some of those big questions um, around the GS450H drivetrain and how much power that it can put down and that it does indeed work perfectly happily at 360 volts isn't that right Watson yes it is she said so folks I will leave you there this video has um, gone on long enough as usual um, have to say the drivability of the e39 is really good um so this you know kind of the graph kind of translates into real world as well as well so as always for pete's sake give this video a dislike um unsubscribe subscribe don't support me on patreon or paypal or any of that stuff because then I just take your money and do crazy stunts like this with it. And um, until next time, happy dino testing.